everybody, so I'm back with the third layout for the National Scrapbooking Day Challenge 2018. I'm moving on to this layout. This is one of the layouts I do not like. I did this back, uh, let's say about 10 years ago, and um, it looks like I was... <laughs> it looks like I was interested in stamping, as well as scrapbooking, and I had tried to stamp here with brown and I didn't like it, so I changed to black and tried to over... Uh, to cover over what I'd stamped and I missed the mark and then I just left it and then I stamped here, there, and there and those stamps were imperfect and then I stamped here, 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 and here and then I perhaps chalked over it um, and then I photo matted with colors that don't match the photo and then I slapped on something and then I did a little bit of journaling and this was my page. Looking at it today, I definitely don't like it. It doesn't really represent a style back then or now. <laughs> so I am going to see if I can do this pretty little photo justice. You know what I'm trying to say in this page? I'm saying you're as cute as anything like uh, with animals, you know, baby things are so cute little babies, little kittens, little puppies, everything is so cute when it's little um, and a baby has a special way of adding joy in every single day and I definitely remember um, the, these days, this was, he was around three months here and every morning I would just play with my baby, like it was the cutest thing. I just abandoned the world, I sat in my little theater and I would just sing and play and love and um, these were beautiful times, you know, beautiful times, and I want to capture that. So uh, here we go. I'm going to do that next. So I hope um, I hope you stay tuned. So I'm bringing in my sketch there on the left hand side, and I'm also grabbing the paper collection from the Make It from Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft, which is Echo Park's I'd Rather Be Crafting. I am looking at my sketch and I see six different pattern papers at the bottom half of that sketch. So I'm looking for six different pieces of paper, but when you add them all together, they look too busy and you, I kind of couldn't make them out from each other. So I knew I had to introduce some solids. So I grabbed the coordinating solid pack from the I'd rather be crafting range. I am putting just a few solids in between each of the pattern paper and it looks really good. I also thought I'd use the orange in the background there, but then I decided to change it to the pink and the teal, and I actually quite like that. I mean, I know this is a boy, but at that age, it doesn't really matter, and the pink looks good. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm calculating the size of the paper strips I need to cut down. I've decided to do the layout in a 40 to 60 ratio. Um, so that I'm keeping the strips at the bottom at six inches tall. I then vary the sizes of the strips. Some are gonna be three inches, some are two, and some are one. I'm cutting down that teal strip. The size of that one is 11 and a half, leaving a quarter inch on either side, and it's five and a half tall, leaving a quarter inch at the top and a quarter inch in between, and allowing for a quarter inch at the bottom. I'm then gonna arrange my paper strips and at first I kind of didn't really have an idea of how I was gonna place them but as I had cut them down I then I think accidentally placed two of the brown ones on the edge and I thought well that looks really good and I cut another red one and I thought that looked really good. I could have added a camera to alternate the patterns but I really wanted this fun stripe one so I did go ahead and do that. So you have lots of options. You could make them somewhat coordinating and you can just add whatever you want. I then decided that photo looked a little bit bare and I, I thought it would be nice to have another mat underneath it and I loved this and I love this pattern paper of the buttons. So I decided to mat that one underneath the photo and it looks really good. Now, as I was doing this, I thought, you know what, if I left enough of a gap in between each one, I would love to be able to sew. And that's exactly what I did. I decided to sew 
these strips together to add more texture to the page and I for I'd forgotten how wonderful sewing is on paper. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of double-sided tape right in the middle because I don't want it to be anywhere near where my needle is going to sew through. After I stuck down the photo and I moved it to the left, I'm now thinking about the sentiment. I have this really old pack from Die Cuts with a View. I've never used it. It's like a raised epoxy, I don't know. I don't know if I bought it or if it was given to me, but I looked at it and I thought the colors were kind of cute and pale and they sort of matched and perhaps that I could get away with using them here. Well, I actually don't end up liking them. The first thing I did wrong here was I stuck them straight down, I didn't stick them onto something. I used a lowercase j and then I thought that there wasn't an uppercase j and I found one and when I ripped off the lowercase j it ripped the paper and then when I tried to put the uppercase j on top it didn't cover it. So I ripped the whole word off and I decided to cover it with this red strip which actually looks really good in this pattern. I put two strips down and uh, I wonder why I didn't go with that but I didn't go with that. I ended up flipping one over and putting the words joy on top of that. Now at this stage I think I was just happy that I had had a title down but later on I do change this. It's the one thing that I don't like with this layout and so I'm glad that I did go back and change it because how it looks now is pretty amazing and you'll see that coming up in, in the photos at the end. After my titles down, I'm thinking of embellishments. I have this really, really old Kaiser pack. I think like 2012, 2013. I bought this because I thought it was cute and that I could add embellishments to my baby scrapbooking layouts. So I'm just going about here adding as many as I can, as many as look good that I need. I'm also making sure that I'm going to cover up the strips underneath the joy that I don't like those corners being so exposed. So I'm going to end up doing that with that flyaway bird with that flying bird circle. I'm trying not to crowd it. I can see that I'm crowding. And I'm glad I took some things away because um, too much crowding. <laughs> okay, so once I'm happy with what I'm going to be using. I'm adding just a little bit of double-sided tape to the center and I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. And this is what it looks like. I love it. I love the white stitching. I love the zigzag. And really all that's left now is just to journal. Now the reason why I came up with the word joy is because the original layout had a sticker on it which I thought was really cute so I took that from that idea. It had a saying that says a baby has a special way of adding joy in every single day so I wrote that up at the top right hand side. I also felt I needed another space to add more journaling so I wrote it on this little piece here and I also journaled some more on the back and then in order to attach it I just added a strip of coordinating paper. I added a a little bit of glue, cut it down, and then I took it back to the sewing machine and I stitched that on. And you can see here how I will be able to flip it and read what's written on the other side, but it's hidden, so it's something that's personal. Last thing I need to do is date this layout for with today's date. And this layout is pretty much done. So here is what the sketch looks like, and this is how my layout turned out. I like it. 
and this was the original layout. I can't, I, I, there are no words to describe the difference. The difference is someone who can and someone who can't scrapbook. I mean, I'm so happy looking at this. I'm so pleased that I've come from not knowing how to scrapbook to scrapbook. I really, really love how this layout turned out. I love how fun it is. I love all the use of the little creatures. I love the sentiment it evokes and I love the feeling it evokes. And speaking of sentiment, let me tell you what I did. Remember the epoxy alpha stickers that I didn't like for the title? So what I ended up doing is removing those, added one more layer of cardstock, and then I used these alpha chipboards that I got from Aldi. These were like $1.99 and usually the alpha stickers are like at least $5, if not $9.99 full price. So I thought these were a good buy, but I never used them. So I actually opened them up here and spelt out the word joy, and they look so fabulous. They belong so well here. I'm so glad I bought them. I need to find some more. <laughs> and I feel like they complete the layout so perfectly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this process video. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever had a layout that you just wanted to do so much with but didn't have the creativity or the courage to go ahead and do it and have you gone back to trying lately to see how far you've come in your scrapbooking i have a few more layouts to do so i'm going to go ahead and do those and i'll see you in my next video